The housing we're going to talk about today is one of the new offerings from Nocturne Industries. You know them, we love them. They finally got around to making it a reality. We're talking about the Manicore R. This guy right here shares a lot aesthetically to the Katana R that we've talked about in a previous video. The pods are actually almost identical, but we're going to talk about this thing specifically. Initially, they're offering the R before there's, there's going to be a molded uh, polymer version of this. It's not yet available, but that's kind of the next iteration. Right now, they are producing the ruggedized version. It is 7075 aluminum with a hard coat anodizing. It has a lot of the same features that you've come to be accustomed with with the uh, Nocturne housings. The, their incorporated interpupillary stop design that's you know kind of revolutionary and, and pretty cool. Uh, we're glad they've stuck with that on these uh, new variants of housings. Um, it does have an IR illuminator installed. It works with onboard via CR123 batteries or you can use a remote battery pack to power this device. Um, it is IP68 or MIL standard 810H, I think is the um, designation for the testing that was done on this, but it's completely waterproof. Uh, the buttons here on the front that can control all the functions, on off, IR illuminator, uh, plus or minus gain, are very stiff and tactile. And this is for that same reason of uh, maintaining a good ingre ingress rating. Apparently under a lot of pressure underwater, uh, a squishier, more, I guess, desirable feeling button may be actuated by the actual pressure exerted on the housing from the water outside of it. Crazy to me, but that's why they made the decision to go with these buttons. And honestly, they're, they're pretty nice. Um, it does have individual pod cutoff, just like all the other offerings um, that they've brought to the market. This one's shown with the lightweight RPO 3.0 optics installed. With RPO optics and Photonis tubes installed, this housing or the system weighs 468 grams with the lightweight optics. It's 561 grams with standard uh, Carson type or mil spec type optics. Um, the, the way the manual gain works on this housing is, is pretty cool. I was talking to Jeff a little bit about this and there were some other push button manual gain systems on the market available for like a uh, retrofitting PVS 14 housings. And he liked a lot of the things they were doing, but he made a small change. So this housing does have gain uh, memory. So if you're at a certain gain level and you turn the housing off, when you turn it back on, it's going to resume operation at that gain level you were last at. Um, but the way the buttons work is there's very small increments but between levels of gain and you can do one of two things you can hold down you know the plus or minus button to quickly uh, go through the gain levels or you can do single presses and there will be very small incremental changes in the brightness until you get uh, to the ideal brightness level that you want in that given light given lighting environment um, as always these come with a lifetime warranty uh, through Nocturne Industries. That's on the housing by itself. That doesn't include the tubes or the, the optics that you would buy elsewhere. But they really stand behind their products and that's kind of one of the main reasons we've been a fan of theirs for so long. They really take care of their dealers and their customers and we really appreciate that. At the time of filming this video, these are in production. Uh, we anticipate having them in the next couple weeks. At least that's what we're being told. Um, so they're not yet available on our website, but they will soon. They will be available soon, so, you know, keep up with the website, refresh it every five minutes, skip work, stay home, they're coming. If you've been in the market for a night vision device with manual gain and you don't want to buy 31 alphas or 1531s and pay that L3 finish good premium, and you really need something that's made in the U.S., this is this is the option for you if you're not into aluminum i mean in a few months they're going to have the molded plastic version out we're going to do a whole separate video on that but they've done some cool stuff with the materials that they're using in that uh, molded polymer version we'll touch on that when it, it becomes more of a reality but i mean 70 75 you really can't go wrong um, it's not overly heavy i would say with all the other aluminum night vision housings on the market it's 
right there in the mix, comparable weight. Uh, it's incredibly durable. If you go check out their website, uh, Nocturne Industries website, I think they've got a couple videos of them dropping these from uh, drones at like over 100 feet. So, I mean, what else do you want really for durability? We talked about how well they stand behind their product. It's going to be really the next um, high watermark in the night vision industry as far as devices that are full feature packed that offer everything that you can ask for and it's aggressively priced. So um, I try to make this short and sweet because we've done so many of these housing videos now and I feel like you know, I touch on you know, the 10 data points that everybody always asks. Yes, no, it has this, it has that. Um, it's a great option. If you have any questions, as always, you know, you can contact us via our website, the live chat, any of our social medias. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, share it with your friends and get down in the comments and tell us why your religion is superior. We'd really like to hear about it. Um, have a great day.